Okay. Hello, everyone. This is Gregory Gettinger. I'm from Vienna, Austria, and I am a serial entrepreneur and a really lousy tennis player. I, I think I've played 100 tournaments and I only won three out of them. And the last one only because my opponent got insured. So my tennis game is not that good. And but what I wanted to tell you today about is tennis esports. Uh, to get you a feeling what we're doing, I will show you a video, so you have a, bit, a little bit of, a, of an idea how, the, or how that looks like. But before I do that, I want to say thank you very much to Mark for making this summit um, possible. I think it's a great idea to get the industry together and exchange ideas and, and thoughts and, and, and all the, the new stuff. So here comes the video. Wir sind heute in einem A1 Technologiezentrum und wir verleihen den Innovations Award an VR Motion Learning, ein Startup, das sich mit uh, VR Spielen beschäftigt. Wir haben eine Ballsport hey, Gregory. Digitalis yes. um, digitalisiert heißt. Well, you share your, you got to share your screen first with us. Oh, okay. There we go. Sorry for that. All good. Okay. Does it work now? It is. That. Yep. That's okay. good. There we go. Wir sind heute in einem A1 Technologiezentrum und wir verleihen den Innovations Award an VR Motion Learning, ein Startup, das sich mit VR Spielen beschäftigt. Wir haben eine Ballsportart wie Tennis digitalisiert. Ähm, digitalisiert heißt, du kannst in Virtual Reality von zu Hause aus authentisches Tennis spielen mit echter Ballphysik. Und das eröffnet natürlich eine Fülle von Möglichkeiten. Ja. Du kannst gegen deine Freunde in New York, Paris zeitgleich spielen. Du kannst Turniere mitmachen, ohne dass du reisen musst. Ich kann also zu Hause vom Wohnzimmer aus meine Vorhand und meine Rückhand perfekt trainieren, dass ich am Court dann gleich in echt spielen kann. Anfang vom Lockdown haben wir ganz einfach gesehen, dass es zwei Arten von Unternehmen gibt. Die, die sich im Schicksal ergeben und so zu Mitarbeiter abbauen und, ähm, und, und zusperren und andere Unternehmen, so wie heute via Motion Learning, die, die einen Unterschied machen und wirklich durch Digitalisierung äh, neue Geschäftsmodelle nach vorne treiben. Ja, speziell in der Corona-Zeit haben wir gesehen, dass die Digitalisierung einen richtigen Sprung gemacht hat. 5G bringt die Möglichkeit, dass wir unsere Applikation flächendeckend anbieten können. 5G hat ja mehrere Vorteile. Zwei davon sind extreme Geschwindigkeiten und extrem niedrige Latenz. Und genau das braucht man für virtuelle Reality-Anwendungen. Das Netz muss so schnell sein und vor allem die Latenzzeit muss so kurz sein. Das heißt, das Netz muss so schnell reagieren, sonst ist der Ball schon vorbei, wie sich das am Bild sehe. Also VR steht erst in den, in den Kinderschuhen im Prinzip. Ähm, VR wird sich noch deutlich weiterentwickeln, wenn sich die Hardware auch noch weiterentwickelt, wenn das billiger, wenn das effizienter, wenn das ergonomischer wird. Wir sind heute in einem a 1 technologie Okay, so that was a video. Sorry, it's in, in, in German. I will give some explanations now in my um, presentation. Okay, so this is tennis esports. Um, and what you have seen is really true. We are developing something unique. And what's happening is you're coming home. You put the goggles, your VR headsets on, and you basically dive into a virtual world, which means you are suddenly on a tennis court, you're on a virtual tennis court, and you can play tennis as authentic as on the real court, with the authentic moves, with real ball physics, as you would be on the real court, okay? So now you can practice. You can practice with a ball machine, you can play your friends, you can play your friends in New York, in in, in, in London online, you can join tournaments, you can join Grand Slams, you can join the VR Tennis League, uh, you can invite your friends, and you can play against Dominic Team. He would be your virtual trainer. He would be standing across to you and telling you, put your elbow a little bit higher because your forehand is not good enough, or 
um, he would say, let's let's do some tactical um, 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 exercises. So at the end of the day, what we are developing is something that you can improve your technique uh, in the most precise and most efficient way than ever. That means inch by inch will lead you to your perfect move based on your individual biomechanics. And the way we do that is we are building a library with the so-called ideal moves, with the moves of the book. How should an ideal forehand look like? How should the ideal backhand look like? Based on your, on your individual biomechanics. And then we bring you step by step into the ideal motion. So what we are developing here is a unique technology platform for educational training. But to make it fun and to not get bored after a while, it is a real entertaining game. But it is not a game like FIFA and you know all these esport games, which is shooting and you know playing and 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 killing aliens whatsoever. No, it's a serious educational game, which has to be fun, has to be motivating, has to attract the youngsters, has to get the you know the the, the 12 to 18 years old into the into the into the uh, game and it should motivate all those people to learn a better technique to utilize that to come to the real court so we want to attract a new target group um, more and more tennis players to come to the court okay it's not something which is just for the game itself so it's something completely new it's it's unique and we are developing it and it's, uh, we're gonna have a beta test um, available in November and we will go out with the first model in spring of next year. So what is the product gonna look like? The first, the, the first mosaic out of the whole thing is the gaming part. That's what we're gonna start with. So you can, you're gonna be virtual in a tennis court you may be in Wimbledon, you walk into Wimbledon, you, you have the spectators um, uh, around you, uh, they, will, uh, they will announce your name and you can play your friends as you would be really in Wimbledon. So you can participate on a tournament, you can play um, in the E-League, can watch others play, that's the gaming part. Um, later on we will have some training modules and one of those is a technical training which i just talked about how can you optimize your technique how can you improve your your your, your tennis um, you get a lot of feedback data how is your forehand doing what is my spin what is my spin on my back end, my forehand how's the surf doing how is my trajectory doing how can i you know how uh, um, you get all kind of feedback about your full body motion and then we have mental training, which means you will be in the third set, tie break, second serve, and now you have to deliver a perfect serve as you would do in training. If not, you will train and train and train until you get there. Um, then there will be tactical trainings. You can play an op opponent, which you know you're gonna play next, uh, um, next week, playing against you that means you know exactly what kind of spin what kind of speed how he moves where his weaknesses are so you can prepare yourself in a tactical way in the, in the best way you could do because you you're virtually playing him before what kind of hardware do you need well you basically you need a strong computer with a with a graphic card which supports vr virtual reality and you need the headsets and the newest um, um, what we're just developing right now and testing is that we might have just the headset only and no computer. That means you put your headsets on. If you have, if you have um, Wi-Fi, you can just walk on a tennis court and you can play virtually play with your real racket against somebody else sitting somewhere else um, and, and virtually play tennis. Um, so that's the, the, the newest part, which we're just testing right now. Um, the products we will have are two options. There will be a so-called home use single license. Um, the difference between the home use and the Tennis Pro, this is the Tennis Pro one, is that 
at home in the living room, you usually don't have the space to run around as on a tennis court. So there will be a teleport, what we call an autoport function, which teleports you right to the, to the space where you should strike the ball, strike the forehand, strike the backhand, so you don't have to run around. So you can, you can play and you can train out of your living room. Um, the second option is that you are on a, in a tennis club where you have the space where, you, where there is a tennis court where you, can, where you can run around and virtually play on the real space. Um, so these are the two options. The, the Tennis Pro will be a multi-use option so that um, any club can invite as many players as they want to, to, to try it, to, to play it and to, to train. And the single license, as I said, the home use is just for one single um, person at home. What are the costs? Well, there will be a free version with uh, limited um, possibilities, but you can play, you can train um, in, a, in a limited um, um, uh, version. And the normal, the normal price for the consumer will be $20 per month. It's a, it's a subscription, a monthly subscription plan. And for the Tennis Pro, the multi-use, it's 199. So the Tennis Pro basically, they're just, the tennis clubs are paying us the 199 and they can charge their students, their, their players, their members, whatever they want to do uh, and make money on that. We are building an ecosystem out of this tennis esports. And the ecosystem has different kinds of stakeholders here. And I want to explain. The first is that every tennis coach can build his own team. It's going to be a tennis e-club. And the team means he attracts his own players, his students, and he manages and coaches his players. Now, if we compare to the e-sport world, where you just have these stupid games like Fortnite and so on, but these teams are worth almost $5 billion. The Yankee team is worth $5 billion. So now the tennis coaches can build their own teams and we're bringing tennis from an individual game into a team sport, okay? Making it more attractive for the youngsters to join, making a business model for tennis coaches to build teams and to participate in a tournament style in the, in the VR league. So that's a huge opportunity for the tennis coaches. And by the way, we share the revenues, the subscriptions we get from the platform with the teams and the tennis coaches. So there's a business model behind it. And then we will organize leagues and tournaments. It's gonna to be customized tournaments, tournaments for all levels, um, regional, local, international tournaments. There are gonna be Grand Slams. The Grand Slams are gonna take place uh, at the same time as the real Grand Slams. There will be a national league, there will be international leagues, and we're heading into Olympics. We want to make it an Olympic, Olympic game by 2028. So by 2024, we want to have the approval to have it Olympic. Um, then there will be a, a big portion on the media. We will stream, stream the, 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 the games. You can watch them, we're gonna broadcast them. They're gonna be sponsorship, there's gonna be merchandising, there's gonna be events. It's gonna be a, a huge platform where everyone can participate so that we can pay price monies to the tournaments and attract a lot of people coming into tennis esports. Also, the tennis stars will have a, uh, have a stake here. A tennis star can scan themselves, all his, the, the face, the body, the tennis motions, and can, can become a virtual trainer, a virtual coach in our, in our platform. That means that if you're a star of Dominic Team, you can play Dominic Team. You can, you can interact with Dominic Team. You can ask him, how was it at the US Open the first, the first two sets? How did you, how did you feel? Or if, if Novak Djokovic is there, you know, ask him why he, why he played that ball to the, to the, to the line judgment. 
Okay, so you can basically socialize with the tennis star in our game because it's a virtual environment um, um, and the, the possibilities are unlimited. So the technology is basically, it's a VR software application. We are providing the platform uh, worldwide. We will have um, um, the tennis eSport application um, uh, in basically on all continents. You need Wi-Fi connection and you need the hardware. That is, uh, that is something you need to have. Otherwise you cannot play it. Places to play, I already said, you can play at home, you can play in the club, you can play at fitness centers, you can play it anywhere, basically. But there are two options, the one where you have to run around and the other one where you can basically um, 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 just make a forehand, a backhand and a serve without running around and ruining the television set. Then we have all the training models which are coming then that you can learn your perfect technique, you can improve your technique. What we have seen is that two thirds of the tennis players are not coming back to the court because they cannot control the ball, because they have problems that their opponent cannot control the ball, so they have no fun. Um, now people can learn at home um, and improve the technique so that if they come to the court, um, they can control the ball and they have fun playing tennis. Um, Last but not least, we're talking, we are targeting um, all kinds of players. We are targeting mainly recreational, recreational tennis players, juniors, gamers, all people who enjoy sports and games. Um, in the first run, we do not target the, the, the top 200, um, but for sure, if the price monies are coming up, uh, this will certainly will be a tool that not only the top 100 or 200 are making money, but also individuals from the 200 downwards to 2000 can make money. So we are basically enlarging the, the, the target groups of, of tennis. We're bringing in new, new target groups with the youngsters. We're having an option for the teenagers. Um, we are improving, we're giving a, a tool for the recreational tennis players, and there will be also something there for the, the pros. So that's about it, what I wanted to tell you. Thank you very much. And um, one important uh, message I wanted to, to bring to you is that this tennis esports is something for everyone. We're not excluding anyone. Everyone who wants to join us, we are happy to welcome him and, and integrate and, 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 and make a family. There's all the tennis coaches are welcome, all the, the clubs are welcome, the whole tennis world is welcome. We are not excluding anyone. We are an open platform and want to welcome everyone playing tennis esports. And I want to emphasize that this is not a substitution for real tennis. It is not a substitution for real tennis coaching. It should be an add-on tool. It should help the tennis coaches to to improve the students, to have more tools in the hands, more data in the hands, more feedback to, to, get, to get the students playing better. Um, and we want to bring more people to the real tennis by having this tool. Thank you very much. So let's see if there are any questions here. So, I have only some nice comments, but no real questions. Is anyone interested to hear something special about what we're doing here? Oh, by the way, I have uh, a comment from, from um, Timmy that he wants to attract venture capital to start VR tennis, tennis esports in Africa. So anyone who's interested in investing into Africa and tennis, um, please let me know and I can forward it to, to Timmy. Um, that, that was, he was asking for me for that. Um, anything else? No other questions? Then I'd like to thank you very much. Oh, here's one question. So I see linking to groups as in family group. 
how do you see it linking to groups as in family group coaching? I do not understand that question. How do you see it linking to groups as in family group coaching? I don't understand that question. I'm sorry, Mike. Could you please make it understandable for a stupid Austrian? There we go. Okay, we'll pick it up another time. Sorry, Mike, I could not answer your question. I simply did not understand it. Um, but thank you very much, guys. And I'm really open and willing to to answer all the questions you have on a one-to-one -one meeting. Uh, give me a call, send me an email. I'm happy to, to talk to, to everyone. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.